Checking in on the tropics, you may have heard very briefly about Tropical Storm Dolly from this swirl of clouds well into the western Atlantic and more parallel to the shores of New England, but still a few hundred miles to the east. It's already a post-tropical system, so it's not something we're going to be tracking for much longer, if at all. Some waves of moisture across other sections of the western Atlantic, but not much of any concern anywhere within this region or even the Caribbean or the Gulf, where we typically have activity forming. It's void of any kind of moisture source across a broad swath of the Caribbean. Wave of moisture in the southwestern Gulf, it's going to be connecting to upper level winds, not likely to have any kind of development. No highlights for future development anytime soon. The Caribbean is rather dry and uneventful because of that upper and mid-level dust plume that's also connected to dry air. It's not just like what you would see in the desert southwest where winds can kick up dust all over and cause zero visibility, but this is airborne and it is connected all the way into the Gulf region. So there will be times through the next couple of days on this projection where we can see at least occasional haze across the Gulf and even our own area. I'm not really expecting it to be uh, the type where you would have huge uh, respiratory issues unless you're very sensitive to maybe some airborne particulates, but uh, do expect some colorful sunrises and sunsets, maybe a slight decrease, although that's going to be a side effect of the airborne dust, but it is going to be out there nonetheless. It's not extraordinary. It happens every year, just a little bit more this time around. We're watching